In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the new SAP Analytics Cloud Optimized Story Experience. Specifically, this is going to be an introductory tutorial about some navigational considerations that you need to be aware of when you first open up SAC after this Optimized Story Experience has been implemented. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to create a story and select which design experience you'd like, optimized design experience or classic design experience. We also are going to cover the key element of how to open up the designer panel, which includes both the builder and styling panels in both design experiences. Next, we will open up the left side panel in the optimized story design experience and learn how to toggle on or off advanced mode. After that, we will give a quick preview on how to drag and drop widgets in the new optimized design experience. And lastly, we will also show how you can still go about creating the classic analytic applications that used to be separate from stories. In the optimized story experience, though, they are brought together into one. With that, let's go into SAC. Here in SAC, we are going to start by going to our Stories app. In our Stories app, we are going to create a new story, and we can choose Responsive or Canvas page just like always. I'm going to click on Responsive. The first thing that will happen is it's going to ask me what design mode would I like to use, optimized design experience or classic design experience. I'm going to show both. Be aware that the optimized design experience will continue to improve and evolve as new enhancements come out from SAP. However, as of right now, there are still some features that are currently only supported in the classic design mode. Here is what a blank responsive page will look like in the optimized design experience. To contrast, on my other tab here, I will open up the Stories app and create a responsive page in the classic design experience. And here's that. Now that we're in here, we need to see how to open up the crucial designer panel, which is where we structure all of our objects, tweak the styling, all of that. In the classic design experience, you're all probably used to using this button over here to toggle on and off the designer panel. And from there, once it's open, you can switch between the builder panel and the styling panel. The functionality is largely intact. However, in the optimized design experience, there is no longer a designer button over in this section of the screen. Now it's called the right side panel and it's located in the view section of your toolbar. If I click on right side panel, it will still toggle on and off that same designer panel that we're used to using. And in here, I can still switch between the blue builder panel and the orange styling panel. I will now toggle that off. My next item to talk about is the left side panel and toggling on and off advanced mode. One of the key features of the optimized story experience is that it's combining the functionality of standard stories and more advanced analytic applications. The left side panel that you can toggle on and off up here in the view section of the toolbar is relevant and important to know for how the analytic application features are brought into the unified story experience. So I can toggle that on and off as far as the left side panel goes with that button. I can also choose to toggle on or off the advanced mode. The left side panel is available whether or not you want to use the analytic application functionality. However, if you do not wish to use that advanced functionality, you can toggle off advanced mode and you can still use some of the navigational options from the left side panel, but you do not have to worry about any of the advanced features and functionalities like scripting or anything of that nature once you toggle advanced mode off. You can simply toggle it back on as well by clicking on that icon there indicated by a couple of puzzle pieces, which you might recognize 
is the old analytic applications icon as well. In the classic design experience, there is no option to open up that left side panel with some of the analytic application functionality embedded in it. Now that we have this left side panel open and we're aware of how to toggle it on and off, one of the key additions to the optimized story experience is being able to drag and drop widgets onto your story page from this left side panel. Traditionally, in a classic story, we had to use the insert section of the toolbar to insert objects like charts or tables. Now, in the new optimized story experience, we can also drag and drop objects from that left side panel. From there, the functionality will remain the same. We have to choose a model or a data set from which we want to pull data. And then we can configure those objects using the right side panel or the designer panel. Lastly, I want to show that you can still navigate to the classic analytic application builder in SAC even after you've been upgraded to take advantage of the optimized story experience. In the navigation bar, the analytic applications app will still be available for you. When you click on that and you choose to create a new application, you will, however, see this pop up here that asks you to select the design mode. Here, it will still recommend that you try using the optimized design experience, and it indicates that you will be redirected to the stories page. If I click on OK here, that's what it does. It just takes me to the stories app landing page, and then I can choose to create a new story using the optimized design experience. If I wanted to still make a classic application, I could do that. Back at my analytic application landing page, I can click on create new and then click on classic design experience. And once I click on OK there, it will take me to the traditional analytic application builder screen that we're familiar with here. In this tutorial, we learned how to, when creating a story, select which design experience we'd like to use the optimized design experience or the classic design experience. We also learned how to open up the crucial designer panel, which includes our builder and styling panels in both the optimized design experience and the classic design experience. As a reminder, in the optimized design experience, it is now called the, the right side panel. We also talked about how to open or close the left side panel and also toggling on and off the advanced mode, which includes advanced analytic application type functionalities like scripting. We then learned how to drag and drop widgets from the left side panel into your story page, which is unique to the optimized design experience. Traditionally in the classic design experience, we had to use the insert section of the toolbar to add things like charts and tables to our story page. And lastly, we covered how to still go about creating a classic analytic application should the need arise. You can simply use the navigation bar and still navigate to the analytic applications app and create one from there, but you have to choose the classic design experience at that point. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, throw us some love by clicking the like button below. You can also view our growing catalog of self-paced courses, tutorials, webinars, and you can join our community forum by creating a free account at analysisprimeuniversity.com.